Hello everyone, I am Arshit Rathor and currently postgraduate student at Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, India. In this presentation, I will be presenting the paper title Breaking the Trade-off between Bandwidth and Closing Blocker Attenuation in an NPATH Filter. NPATH filters are best suited for channel selection at RF frequencies because they are on-chip inductor-less filters. It provides high Q, which effectively means that it gives very sharp filtering Along with that, it delivers wide tunability with high linearity. However, in NPATH filter, to filter out extremely close in blocker, the filter rollup must be very sharp, which will require higher order filtering or reduction of bandwidth by increasing the capacitors. This is an inherent trade off in any filter topology. In this work, we proposed an architecture to break the trade off. NPATH bandpass filter works with non overlapping cloak as seen in figure. To operate NPATH filter, clock frequency should be the same as input frequency. If this condition fulfilled, then individual capacitor sees identical phase of input at each cycle and hence gets charged to the average input voltage corresponding to that phase. Since each capacitor sees a distinct part of input, therefore all capacitor voltages will be different. The output RF voltage shows a staircase waveform. Now consider a two-path filter whose clock faces lead or lag the input by phase of pi by 2. Since each of the capacitors sees one half cycle of input with zero average, ideally VC1 and VC2 should be zero. However, the voltage across capacitors will have a small ripple during the on phase of clocks due to finite capacitance. This figure illustrates the effect of input attenuation of the two-path filter with respect to the relative phase alignment of the clocks. When the input and the clock frequencies are identical, it clearly shows that at 90 or 270 degree phase difference provide maximum attenuation. Consider the two path filter which switches operating at frequency of blocker and being driven by clocks phi1 and phi2. Under the condition of quadrature phase alignment between the clock and the input, when switches are off, VC1 and VC2 are identically zero. Now consider a case where phi1 leads input by more than 90 degree, clearly C1 accumulated net negative charge over on time of phi1. At a steady state, VC1 decreases from zero, thus difference of VC1 and VC2 is negative. On the other hand, as if phi1 lags by more than 90 degree, then difference of VC1 and VC2 is positive as shown. Hence, it becomes clear from this that if VC1 minus VC2 is negative, then we need to impart a phase leg to the clock and if it's positive, we need to impart a phase lead. Here we show the principle that we use to automatically impart the appropriate phase lead or leg to lock the clock to quadrature phase with respect to input. The schematic show negative feedback loop to achieve the clock alignment. Phi1b and Phi2b are clock phases used to extract the Hell value across the capacitors. The difference of this voltage is sensed and to digitally increment or decrement the delay offered by variable low phase shifter. The loop is stopped when difference between VC1 and VC2 change sign. Now let's assume receiver contains both desired signal and blocker. The two-path architecture allows desired signal to pass due to inherent property of n-path filter. The desired signal is down-converted to delta f since this is a time-varying signal at intermediate frequency. This needs to be filtered out before using it in negative feedback loop. To do the same, an extra RC filter is added at baseband side as shown. To compare the performance of proposed architecture with literature, we used a band-limited signal of 1 MHz bandwidth center around 1 GHz and emulated a blocker by using another band limited signal 2 MHz apart. We compare our architecture with the standard 4 path band pass filter. For fair comparison, the total capacitance was kept constant at 200 picofarad, which gives bandwidth of 4 path filter 31 MHz. The standard 4 path band pass filter will pass both blocker and desired band. Even though we haven't presented the band stop filter analysis, it has been shown in paper to behave similar to band pass filter as far as blocker performance is concerned. On the other hand, the proposed architecture shows the same blocker attenuation 
by 20 dB without much affecting the desired signal, it has emit frequency because two path filter does not have a combined path of in and quadrature phases unlike four path band pass filter. To conclude, the proposed architecture is shown to selectively attenuate extremely close in blockers with respect to desired receiver band. Thank you.